Yo YouTube, what's up? Uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video on my channel and if you have been following me on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter uh, or if you have been watching the streams uh, you probably know the reason why uh, but I decided to make this video just in case someone uh, from my YouTube audience doesn't know what's uh, what has been going on with uh, with me and the stream so yeah long story short on november 5th uh, we busted um, our bankroll of the challenge so the challenge is over uh, if you have seen my last video uh, then you know what decision i have made uh, and the decision was to go all in uh, with my whole bankroll which at the time was 38 dollars uh, I decided to spend all the money and play 17 tournaments. Uh, we survived the first day. You have seen that video uh, on my YouTube already. Uh, but then uh, we played for another three streams and we went all in for another three times. Um, so basically in a span of one week, uh, I've been all in with my whole bankroll four times. Uh, I was able to survive three times. Uh, but unfortunately on Monday uh, we weren't uh, able to survive anymore the bankroll of the challenge dropped uh, to 6 and I decided to stop uh, the challenge at that point and consider uh, the challenge to be over uh, because I had some other projects lined up and it would be really hard for me to do the upcoming project and have the challenge uh, going on at the same time uh, but yeah guys, basically let me show you in a very short uh, recap what happened in those uh, three days. So on day 278 uh, our bankroll was $44. Uh, I've made a schedule of 17 tournaments that uh, I decided to play and invest my whole bankroll uh, into. We started the day uh, kind of okay, we uh, were able to get a stack in a, one of the biggest binds of the night, the 550 deep stacks, but as you can see this was the crucial hand, ace 9 against ace deuce, uh, we got uh, unlucky on the river, and we were also able to make it to the money in the 750 deep payouts, which was the biggest bind of the night, and I also made it to the money in the 220 hyper tubo and kinda went deep there as well, and let me show you the crucial hands from those two tournaments as well. Good luck. Key flip. GG's. Good luck King Queen. Hmm. Too many freaking outs. Let me call the King Jack. Damn. Damn. So yeah, after busting those two tournaments, we had a couple of tournaments left and we went deep once again, uh, this time in 220 deep stacks. Uh, but unfortunately, this was the crucial hand as well. Uh, Pocket Kings against a flap set for uh, Pocket Force. Uh, and we busted in 89th or 88th place. Uh, so that was GG for us in the 220 deep stacks as well. And it was GG for the whole day. So we ended day 278 uh, with $38. On day 279 we went all in with our whole bankroll once again. We played 17 tournaments uh, total. And after first couple of hours of grinding and couple of min caches, we were down to last three tournaments and all of them were looking very interesting. The first one of them was the 220 deep stacks, but as you can see, unfortunately I busted. A couple of people before the money, we ran our queens into aces, so we weren't able to make it to the money uh, in this one. And we also went very deep in 106 max, which was one of the main tournaments of the night, and we were uh, paying the most focus um, to this one, but unfortunately in another setup we ran our queens into kings and we busted in 12th place. Uh, and then I was down to the last one, the 336 max, and the shove with deuces uh, did not go too well and we busted in 40th place uh, in this one as well. Uh, but we still somehow, some way, uh, made some profit for that day. So yeah, day 279 our bankroll was 47. 
And then on day 280, I've made a list of 18 tournaments for a total of 46 and 55. Um, and yeah, it ended up being kind of meh session. Uh, we were getting uh, unlucky for the for the most part. We main cashed some tournaments as well. I was able to kind of you know make like sixteen dollars in uh, in profit, but uh, I invested it back to the uh, back to the you know grind, and we added some tournaments to the schedule. So I think we played total of twenty two tournaments that night, uh, but unfortunately, just you know wasn't our day. And eventually we are down to uh, our last tournament and maybe the last tournament of the challenge as well uh, the 338 max we were able to make it to the money uh, but then in the final hand we ran ace jack into uh, jacks and we weren't able to win so yeah we busted this one as well and it uh, ended up being the last tournament of the challenge as you can see i uh, cashed for six dollars and fifty something but as i said i decided to just you know stop the challenge and focus on the upcoming project um and yeah, it was a mutual decision you know i was okay with it my audience was okay with it as well so yeah, guys basically uh i wasn't able to get to my goal ten dollars to one thousand dollars challenge is officially over i would like to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported me through you know my journey this has been you know one of the most shaping experiences of my life you know i was able to build the most supporting community i couldn't ask for a better one and i'm just really proud of me i'm just really proud of you guys and uh, what we've built it together and i'm looking forward for uh, the upcoming project if you have been following me on insta and uh, all my other socials you probably know what's uh, the next project about uh, I got sponsored by GG Poker and basically I decided to take the rest of the year kind of easy and just stream on GG, uh, play some tournaments there uh, and just enjoy the, enjoy the, you know, our community and just play without any pressure. Uh, the plans for the future is basically, you know, represent GG uh, and, you know, in the future I would like to do another challenge. Uh, I've been teasing it for a while and you know if I finished the challenge I would start the challenge that I'm about to start anyway <laughs> so guys I'm gonna make a pre-announcement it's not official yet I'm not sure about the rules and everything but I would like to do 1k to 10k you know not finishing the first challenge kind of gets me fired to you know get back into the lab and once again guys of course I've been unlucky throughout the challenge uh, but it's 100% my fault, you know. I've already posted about it on my Instagram and Facebook where I talked about why I think the, the challenge failed and I'm taking full responsibility for it. No matter how bad I ran, you know, the core or the main reason why I haven't finished the challenge is me, you know. I could have played better in some spots. Uh, I could have been smarter about my uh, game selection for show. So... Please, like I've re I've received, you know, numerous messages talking about you know how bad I ran and you know that I shouldn't be hard on myself and stuff. But guys, you know, this is this is not about you know running bad or uh, running good. You know, at the end of the day, there have been some decisions uh, that were just wrong. You know, and I've made those decisions, so it's one hundred percent my fault. You know, I'm just acknowledging my L. And yeah, I'm making this video to kind of give my YouTube audience, you know, some clarity as well. Because actually, uh, a lot of you messaged me uh, and asked why I'm not uploading uh, any videos. And yeah, basically, when I busted uh, the challenge, I was just like, you know, because I busted the challenge on Monday and I had to announce the new project on Thursday and start the first stream of the new project with GG Poker on Friday. So it was just like hectic four days. I had to make new graphics and new layout for the stream and stuff. So I so I had no time to edit and I kind of fell off from my YouTube uploading schedule. But yeah, since this video, uh, which is going to be up on Thursday, uh, we are going to be back uh, to our regular uploading schedule. So now for the rest of the year, I'm going to upload the highlights from my stream uh, and my sessions on GG Poker. 
Uh, by the way, there are also going to be some dope free rolls, giveaways, and just, as I said, I'm just going to enjoy, uh, you know, enjoy the sponsorship, enjoy uh, the streams with you guys. So we're going to take it easy for the rest of the year. I'm going to also mostly or, you know, study more and stream less or stream, you know, not that, you know what I'm trying to say. Basically get back into the lab, just really, you know, get my shit together and when I feel ready for the new challenge, we're gonna do the new challenge. We're gonna be smarter. We're gonna be, you know, just we're just gonna be more prepared. Uh, and guys, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a announce the the new challenge once I'm ready. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's basically it. Uh, I hope I wasn't mumbling. Uh, and yeah, the first highlights from the GG Poker stream which I've been streaming on for like one week because once again, there is the one week del delay on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's going to be up tomorrow. So yeah, uh, nothing will change for, for my YouTube audience. There's still going to be uh, three to four videos. I still had to have to think about what I want to do with the Run Advanced Wednesdays. Uh, so yeah, minimum of three videos per week on YouTube uh, as it always was. And yeah, guys, once again, thank you so much for all the support. I want to thank my moderators as well. I want to thank just everyone who helped me um, during my journey. I uh, also want to thank my boy Benjamin Banger uh, for the music. Uh, and yeah, guys, just shout out to you. Thank you so much for the support. And, you know, we're just going to acknowledge our... Bro, I'm sorry for that. We're just going to acknowledge our L and move on. And, you know, it's not... It's not something that could stop me so i'm still gonna work uh it's just a lesson and hopefully we can learn our uh yeah learn our lesson and just move on you know see you tomorrow and uh, yeah see you on my streams as well if you feel like checking out the streams twitch.tv slash uh yeah it's been a journey man it's been a journey and it doesn't end it continues Thank you.